Alright guys, so today revs got released on the Wildy Rejuvenation pool. Nothing passed except the addition of Revenants. None of the new PvP armor passed, so I was like, wait, what are Revenants gonna drop? And then I looked at the goddamn drop table and realized how much of a beast Jagex is. They completely saved all the PKers who wanted the pool to pass badly. And just look at the drop table, guys. We got 100 rune plate legs. Like 100 rune plate legs, as a drop noted. 100 dragon plate legs, kite shields, dragon plate skirts, 500 battle staffs. These are huge drops, and I really respect that they actually added this in so that the area would be active. Now, if you guys remember the revenants in 09, they're actually in roughly the exact same area of the wilderness. Now, there is a simple three step process to killing them, guys. All you need is one, a two handed weapon that'll hit hard, preferably a god sword or the best in slot, the elder maw. Step two, guys, you need the bracelet of Ethereum. The Bracelet of Ethereum is an item that completely blocks the hits of all Revenants. Now after you've gotten this bracelet, which is like about 50k, you're also going to need to buy yourself Revenant Ether. I would get about 100 to start, use them to charge your Bracelet of Ethereum, and now you can block Revenant hits. Now as you guys can see, this bracelet is always lost when you die. Step 3, you'll just need a way to get there, a burning amulet works fine, just go to the lava maze with it. We're going to enter the wilderness now. You're teleported into single and all you're gonna do is run east guys as you can see on the map it is just this dungeon right here east of the lava maze all right when you make it here you're gonna see this cavern you're gonna go inside and you will basically be at the revenants we are in 40 wild we do have a glory if we do get tb though we die every time probably we don't have enough food to tank we're gonna be killing the wyverns very close to the 30 line of the wild that way we have the best chance of surviving and I see a team, so what I'm going to do is instantly hop. Alright guys, so so far, a lot, a lot of PK. This is going to be tough. I'm going to start the timer now. It looks like I have the best setup out of all these people, and we are on a maxed main. So let's see how we do here. Right, so far, it's looking like a free-for-all at this world. This is the easiest Revenant to kill. It's level 7, and Revenant Ether. As you guys can see, you actually get Revenant Ether, so you don't have to buy more. 5 Black Dragonhide. Adamant Axe and Revenant Ether. You know what? I'll take it. I thought that was going to be like 100 Black Dehyde. Alright, this world's a huge free-for-all, guys. I don't think I'm going to actually make much on this world. 50 Soul Rune drop. But yeah, I guess I will stay in this world. Seem to be getting a decent amount of kills here. I really hope that the bigger Revenants have a high drop rate of dropping the rare drops. Blood Rune times 50. You know, not bad. You know, honestly, the drops are really good, though. But yeah, if you kill Revenants right here... If a team comes, you can just glory out because it's right in 30 wild. So it seems very safe. I don't know why people were complaining about the Revenant update. Just got a dragon longsword drop. People just leave Revenant Ether on the ground. My two eluding video of these. This stuff adds up. Something I think you guys should know is that when you get a big drop, it, it's actually broadcasted to everyone in the cave. So if I got the 100 D skirt drop, everyone would see it. I really like the fact that Jagex made the drops the way they did because you can't actually protect 100 D plate legs, right? Because it's multiple of the same item. So if you get that drop, you are going to lose it if a team catches you. Battle staff times five, not bad, not bad. Just imagine 100 D plate legs, straight up 16 mil drop. You can get it from an imp. There's a bracelet with the on charge on the ground. I can't pick it up. I just picked it up. Or was that my drop or something? It's completely random on how fast you kill these guys. Sometimes, I mean, they just heal every time you hit them. And unless you're comboing like 50s, it's very difficult. Maybe I shouldn't be killing the Revenant Orc. I don't know, guys. People are still figuring out the most efficient way to do them. I'm just going in blind and, you know, taking what I can from back in the day. Just chilling right now. I have three spawns to myself and I'm in 30 wild. So that means if a team comes, I can just easily glory out with no fear. Okay, we got the dragon med. We have a lot of good loot in our inventory. I should honestly back right now. Honestly, the strength DXP right now is very nice. This is actually a decent method of training. Oh God, a max team just logged in. I think this is where we have to dip, boys. Yeah, I'm out of here. I'm just gonna pop over to Clan Wars to regen my run energy. And we're gonna just price check the first inventory here. Wow, we just made like 400k in 14 minutes, guys. What the fuck? It's been 15 minutes just about. Don't know if we got lucky or unlucky with that inventory, honestly. You can literally just be this guy in one item, and all you have to do is pray flick magic, I'm pretty sure. And you could literally kill them with no cost, no risk whatsoever. Okay, this thing does not want to stop healing. Am I ever going to kill this? I honestly don't know. 
Jeez, this is like the longest it's taken me to kill one. I just feel like it's not efficient to kill the Revenant Knight. I mean, look at this. It still hasn't died. Please KO. Oh my god, no way. Okay, thank the lord, finally. And we got four Revenant Bars for it. Not even mad. Oh, we got a room plate like drop. Unfortunately, not the times 100 one though. Oh shit, that is a team right there, boys. We have got to run. Just gonna kill this pirate fiend right in front of them, just to show them I don't give a fuck. I guess I'm not worth their 10 Runite bolts. Another drop there. But yeah, guys, look at that. Look at that loot on the ground. I'm honestly gonna do a looting video because people get PK'd and there's no one to pick up the drops because because teams aren't gonna burn inventory space for black DI. But yeah, if we could land one of the very rare drops in this video, which I know probably won't happen, like let's be honest, but it could happen, you never know. At the end of the day, Revenants made it to 07. We've been talking about this on the Reddit for quite a while and let's enjoy all the PogChamp content all the YouTubers make out of it and let's just chill and hope we land a 16 mil drop. All right, the bracelets ran out of charges. I'm just gonna use the Ethereum that we got from the drops and charge it back up. And now we can just chillax and flick piety. Damn, that blowpipe is really out DPSing. God damn it, the blowpipe and the D darts just killing it right now. Blowpipe seems to be really good. I mean, people are just hitting constant 20s onyx bolt tips times five all right if you guys ever need an afk stir training method come over here to the revenant dark beast pkers don't really seem to be wanting to kill me right now don't know but yeah guys look at all this loot on the ground i mean come here and loot you'll make bank i'm gonna laugh if i make a video where i make more looting the drops off the ground than actually killing the wyvern oh my god we just hit the ancient emblem drop we just hit an ancient emblem we actually hit a unique drop that is sick that's actually so awesome holy crap boys 666 game tori not too shabby yeah guys just a few people here um i'm probably dead Yeah, nothing big, just a quick escape. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna brush that off and get right back. Okay, so I was brewed down and we will never talk about it again. I have no idea why I was brewed down. I think it was because of the last people I was running away from. Should be getting these drops now because I will not hit zeros every time. <laughs> Got a team on me, but I wanna pick up my DDS. See ya. All right, whatever clan came they wanted my 4k loot so unfortunately guys i had to actually back early but, but we still pulled out with the dds not too bad at all if you guys do have the wood cutting level and you want a cheaper slash alternative way of getting there chop a waka for yourself i think you need like 60 something wood cutting i'm not really sure the amount but. trying to get one more nice trip there are more people in the rev caves so i mean that's pretty awesome because we're getting a lot of traffic into the peking areas which i think rs needs a lot more of all right Finally got a team on me. If they can catch a freeze here, I'm probably gonna die. I'm actually just more upset that these guys haven't killed me yet. Like, come on, you have a four-man team, man. You're killing someone who's eating yogurt. Like, I literally, I was opening a fucking yogurt container. Just, just, it is 3.64 a.m. after a Thursday. If you think this is a lot of people, hold that thought because on the weekend, it is going to be ridiculous. Like, you'll probably see a 10 man team on every world. Eventually, when clans realize that they're peaking people for like 4k loot, they're actually just gonna lose money and supplies. So, so yeah, God bless. And that is the hour, guys. Actually, hour one second. So, when you see the hour in the thumbnail, you just got clickbaited, motherfuckers. Yeah, since I already started this kill as the timer was stopped, I'm just gonna finish. Gonna go take a shit. Hopefully, I kill it when I get back, and I'll see you guys then. All right, so the next morning, I just woke up, guys. We just killed the last Revenant. We're gonna claim those 10 ethers and get ourselves out of here. All right, it is all here in our inventory. Now, guys, how much should we make from one hour of killing these? I just love this item, the ethers, man. Just looks like platinum tokens. 
but they're green. In total, we made 1.143 mil. Amazing. Honestly, great update from Jagex. I really like it. I really like how all the drops are alkables, so they can never crash below the high alk price. All right, guys, so the one drop we have to exchange for cash is the Ancient Emblem. And I was actually reading up on the wiki. This emblem trader does not accept the ancient emblems. Of course, the only one that does is in 40 wild. Of course, to check the price, we're gonna use the one and only GE Tracker website, the best grand exchange website out there. GE Tracker is a sponsor to the channel. So if you guys wanna show some support and love for them, use my referral link in the below. They're actually having a Black Friday discount where you get 20% off the premium. You know, if you're bored, if you have nothing to do, just go check it out. So yeah, I'm just gonna check the price of the ancient emblem real quick because I honestly have no idea what it is. All right, it looks to be around 500K. So I'm just gonna toss it in for 450. Should sell at that, no probs. Nice, 475K. All right, so normally what I do is I give two random FTP players some cash, but I just bought a few Serenal one plate bodies, dropped the 100K cash pile and the rune scimitar on the ground. But yeah, we'll see who gets it as I conclude this video. I hope you guys enjoy one hour of the Wyverns. I honestly had a fun ass time making this video great content. I really like the way Jagex handled the situation of none of the armors passing. They replaced the drops with some very clever ideas. So I haven't seen the coins. Oh, Gindao coming in fucking huge. But yeah, guys, look forward to more videos soon. Got some awesome ideas. I'm probably going to go to bed because, you know, I'm just a little tired. And uh, until next time. <laughs>